This is the 2022 Kia Niro that, thanks to a new platform, is slightly bigger and more spacious than the outgoing model and has an all new interior and revised styling. Overall, the new look isn't dramatic. The one element that stands out is the Audi R8 style blades on the rear flanks that stand slightly proud of the body and which Kia says increase aerodynamic efficiency. Blades aside, the Nero remains a practical family size crossover with a similarly diverse range of electrified powertrains as before. Because the Nero will be available as a hybrid, plug-in hybrid and a battery electric vehicle, its rivals span both the conventional family crossover sector as well as the compact electric crossover segment that represents a particularly active part of the market just now. There are its cousins, the Hyundai Kona and Tucson for instance, but also the Hyundai Ioniq 5. There are the Volkswagens Tego and T-Roc, but also the ID4 as well. How about the Ford Kuga or Mustang Mach-E? Or likely a price bracket higher, the Tesla Model Y. Despite there being a new Nero to suit a whole range of different drivers, considering the market segments it's straddling, it'll have its work cut out to steal sales from its competitors. A pair of 10.25 inch screens mounted side by side adorn the dashboard, broadly similar to the setup seen in the Kia Sportage and Sorento. A full suite of driver assistance and safety features includes automated emergency braking, lane keeping assist, lane following assist, rear cross traffic alert and a range of other sensor and camera based systems to make parking and egress that bit safer and easier. Opening the range is the hybrid electric model using a 1.6 litre petrol engine and an electric motor to develop 141 horsepower and which is capable of short distances of electric only running. Then there's the 182 horsepower plug-in hybrid, which thanks to its 11.1 kilowatt hour battery can manage around 64 kilometers on battery power alone. The electric Nero used to be called the E-Nero, but has now been renamed the Nero EV to bring it in line with Kia's other models. The Nero EV develops 204 horsepower and with its 64.8 kilowatt hour battery can go approximately 463 kilometers between charges, taking 43 minutes or so to top up from 10 to 80% of a fast DC charger. The new Kia Nero builds on the tried and tested formula that has served it well for a number of years now and is likely to be a highly competent, practical and well-made family car. That said, whether it has what it takes to stand out in an increasingly crowded marketplace once it arrives over the summer remains to be seen, with plenty of competition even from Kia's own product lineup, never mind those of rival car makers.